In this video, we're going to look at the signaling model of education. So here's the theory. A college degree does not make people more productive in the labor market, but merely signals to firms that a person has high innate ability or God-given ability. People who complete a college degree are not a random sample of the population, so there's this idea of maybe a self-selection effect. Uh, the people that complete a college degree have personal characteristics that firms desire, maybe forward-looking behavior, willingness to conform to institutional settings and rules, the ability to get along well with others, ability to follow directions, learn new things, meet deadlines, maybe have a certain minimal level of intelligence, and so on. And again, the idea with the education signaling model or theory is that a degree does not give people these characteristics. The people who graduate have these skills before entering college. So I'm going to start with this concept called uh, pooling equilibrium. We're going to assume that firms cannot distinguish whether a worker is low ability or high ability. So any given worker, a firm cannot tell whether this worker is low ability or high ability. So in this case, firms are going to treat all workers the same. And let's say we have a population where we have just two types of workers, low ability and high ability. Here's the proportion of the population that's low ability and high ability, P and 1 minus P. And let's say that the present value of lifetime productivity for low ability workers is 400,000, for, for high ability it's 600,000. Firms are going to pay each worker the average productivity of all workers in the population. Again, a firm cannot distinguish whether any given worker is high ability or low ability, so firms will just pay the average productivity uh, to all workers. So to calculate that, um, it's just going to be a weighted average. 400,000 times P plus 600,000 times 1 minus P, which I'm doing here. Doing a little simplification, this will simplify to 600,000 minus 200,000 times P. So for example, if half the population is low ability and the other half high ability, substituting 0.5 in for P, uh, every worker in the population would be getting 500,000, the average productivity in the workplace. So notice one thing with this pooling equilibrium. The presence of low ability workers, in a certain sense, harms high ability workers. High ability workers are getting paid 500,000 when their true productivity, the true value of their productivity is actually 600,000. And once again, um, firms aren't able to distinguish one worker from the next type of worker. Uh, and then also another side point here, firms are unable to make better job matches. Some jobs may be better suited for high ability workers and low ability workers. So that's the pooling equilibrium. Now let's look at the separating equilibrium. In this equilibrium, low ability workers don't go to college high ability workers do go to college and get a college degree. And suppose firms have the following pay scale. If a worker has at least Y star years of college, the worker earns 600000 If a worker has fewer than Y star years of college, the worker is going to be treated as a low ability worker and get paid only 400000 we're going to assume a year of college costs high ability and low ability people 40000 and 51000 respectively. So high ability uh, people, workers, will only pay $40,000 a year to, to attend college, where low ability will pay a little bit more. Uh, why is that? So the idea is that the costs differ because low ability people put more time, energy, and effort to complete a year of schooling than high ability counterparts. So this doesn't have to do with um, schools charging low ability and high ability workers different tuition, but the idea that low ability workers and people will find it more difficult to get to college. So if we're including all the costs, the explicit and implicit costs of going to college, it's likely to cost more for low ability workers. Uh, they might have to repeat courses, for example, and so on. 
what we want to do is find the value of y star that results in a separating equilibrium. We want to find uh, the value of y star in which high ability workers choose to go to college and low ability workers choose not to go to college. So how are we going to do that? Low ability workers or people don't go to college if this following condition holds. The earnings of not going to college exceed the earnings of going to college less the cost. So the earnings of not going to college for low ability workers is they're going to get 400000 They're going to be treated in the workplace as a low ability worker, which they are, and get paid only 400000 If they went to college, they would get paid and graduated, they'd get paid 600000 uh, but then we have to take into the, the cost per year, which we said for low ability is 51000 a year. So what we want to do is we want to solve this uh, for Y star. So solving for Y star, low ability workers will not go to college if, if uh, employers are demanding that they get at least uh, 3.9 or get 3.9 years or, or more of schooling. So if firms require more than 3.9 years of college to be paid a high salary, low ability workers will find it in their best interest to not go to college. Well, what about high ability? High ability will choose to go to college if the earnings of going to college less the cost exceed the earnings of not going to college. So the condition will be like this, the earnings of going to college, 600,000 minus the cost of going to college. Uh, has to exceed your earnings if you didn't go to college. We're going to once again solve for Y star. So high ability workers will choose to go to college if Y star is less than five years. So if firms require fewer than five years of college to be paid a high salary, high ability workers will choose to go to college. So therefore, a separate separating equilibrium requires that Y star be somewhere between 3.9 and 5 years. So if it's, say, Y star is 4 years, um, low ability workers will not go to college. They'll be paid 400000 If Y star is 4, it'll be in the best interest of high ability workers to go to college, and they'll be paid 600000 Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.